Hey everybody, welcome back to my anime react channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be watching Platinum End, episode 15. And I've got to th say, things are really starting to heat up in this anime. Last episode we had Nanato kill Kanade, aka Metropolo Man, and Nanato died as well, which is really sad to see him go. This was a man of really strong moral convictions and someone who was just trying to Basically, look out for his family, do good by them. He wanted to originally just die in peace, but Mirai basically said, look, you know, don't do that. Don't don't just go off yourself. You know, continue to try to live for your family. So he decided to, and he even went so far as to start building a dress for his little girl when she was going to go out and have her prom. This thing gets destroyed by... Hajime, for some stupid reason, he goes in there and destroys the dress, along with some other things, and, you know, ends up kidnapping the wife and daughter. At the end, Hajime actually ends up giving his own life to save Saki, which is pretty admirable, even though, you know, she used the red arrow on him. What makes him more admirable is the fact that he didn't break character and side with Metropolitan Man over her, which is something that is possible because... Once again, the red arrows can only make you do so much. If you're, if he loved Metropolitan Man more, or was more infatuated with Metropolitan Man, and not Saki, then he probably could have broke free of whatever commands she gave him, and sided with Metropolitan Man more. So with that said, again, he's out of the picture. Not only was he beheaded, but he was riddled with all kinds of bullets. It was kind of a graphic looking scene, to be honest with you. We now know that part of the military or some government officials are looking into what's going on. Uh, they were probably spurred on by Metropolitan Man showing up in the first place. And so we created some kind of task force to look more into, you know, Metropolitan Man being able to fly and things of that nature. Because that seems like a national security threat of some some sort, right? So they're looking into that. They know where they were initially. They're probably gone by now. So odds are this government officials or this task force are going to end up showing up to find like Metropolitan Man's body, but nothing else really. So they might actually be the new bad or something that the team will have to deal with from here on out is kind of keeping at arm's length from these guys as well. But I don't know if the kid will have any real relevance in, t in the anime or if it will actually be, you know, these government official types trying to find them in the first place. So with that said, though, let's get into this next episode, see what happens, see where we're led, and I'll see you there. All right, everybody, here we go. So just like I thought, they ended up coming to basically clean up. So I'm wondering if they're going to be this the rest of the season's obstacle or threat or, you know, what they got to get by. Maybe that they're going to be hunted by these people in this government, like, branch, and they need to figure out a way to throw them off of their track or scent. Well, certainly that's a possibility, dude. This is really tragic that... Nanato had to die like that, though. Because I really feel like the cancer just suddenly started really eating away at him in the end. What would they think if they learned he killed someone? Uh, well, I guess that depends on who he, they killed. Like, the fact that Nanato killed someone who was murdering people in mass was a crazed lunatic who kept his sister's cryogenic frozen body um yeah i think they would have been proud of him and he probably deserves a medal exactly in the end what it seems like is mariah's sense of twisted righteousness or whatever you would want to call it would have had the world burn to keep one person alive he would have killed everybody else like, I don't understand Mariah at all. His 
his logic is so flawed and misguided and warped that I cannot with him. Yeah, the red arrow only amplifies her feelings for you. They don't give her feelings for you. Even in the case of, like, Hajime, where he fell in love with Saki, like, he was in love with her already because he was in love with the idea of being loved by somebody. So, I mean, it could have been anyone, but those feelings were still there. No, I don't think Mariah approved of him killing somebody. I think he just said what Saki wanted to hear. Well, yeah. Weren't you paying attention to the battle? He couldn't hit him with the red arrow. That should be a dead giveaway. Somebody hit him with an arrow of their own. And I'm pretty sure it was the kid. Okay, so the kid did get all of the arrows, but why did he get them? That is an excellent question. I mean, I know the red arrow should have gone back to him, because that was his red arrow. But I thought whoever killed Metropolitan Man would have gotten his weapons. Or did, since he shot him with the red arrow, did he tell him, like, give me all your angel weapons if you lose the battle or something to that effect, and he had to? Agree to that? I don't know, because that seems like something that Metropolitan Man just wouldn't do, you know? That would be so far against, like, his ideals that he could fight against some kind of command like that. Alright, we're back to this moment again. So the more go on that we were unaware of? Of this moment. Really infatuated her. Does she remind him of his sister? Okay, so this is the moment he got hit by the arrow. No shit. When he wasn't paying any attention. So th this kid shot him with the red arrow before leaving the tower happened? So did the kid have something to do with the tower? That moment was before the tower, wasn't it? I can't remember now. It's been a little bit. Wow. Okay. So he didn't tell him no. That's kind of weird. I, I would have thought that deep within Metropolitan's uh, sense of self-preservation or just, you know, disdain for other people in general. That he would have been able to say no to some degree. Or fight against the Red Arrow. So I guess the kid has uh, all of his wealth now. That he wrote into some kind of will of his own. girl's face is all beat up <laughs> and she, and she didn't even fight that much compared to like Mariah and Nanito yeah I hope they're not like Metropolitan Man either because if the other candidates are like Metropolitan Man then that leaves no real room for growth or discovery in the rest of the anime. It, it would make it seem kind of like the old, same old thing, just repeated over again. Boring! So, yeah. Let's not do that again. Okay, going in to steal a kiss, huh? And denied. And suddenly it was morning time. I guess that's how it feels sometimes when you go to sleep, though. Being considerate and trying to give us space. Space for what exactly, Saki? What do you have in mind over here?
Uh, so maybe it's dredging up all kinds of memories to him that kind of hurt right now. So he doesn't really know how to express his feelings. Well, at least it doesn't taste terrible. Okay. We have a meeting of the angels. That's interesting. Wow, that guy looks creepy. Hello? Yes? <laughs> so they're having some kind of get together because half of them are gone? What exactly would they talk about? Self-proclaimed second-rank angel. So does that mean that he's a third rank or something and he just says he's a second rank? I mean, if you're going to lie about your rank, why not just make yourself special rank? Okay. You know, this trope where people sneeze when uh, somebody's talking about them in anime is really overdone. Wow! How original! Meadow. Meadow. Girl living her best life while she can. Probably shot all kinds of high-ranking people with those arrows so she can just live a life of luxury. Doesn't care at all about being a god candidate or the tournament. How many days were there? 999? So it's been 199 days left. If it was 999, I think it was, right? Correct! Wow, just out in the public. Just for everyone to see. Just like Metropolitan Man. I just wanted to do a little announcement that I am going to be doing a figure giveaway at 500 subscribers for a Super Masters Diorama 2 Trunks and Vegeta figure. It's over 9,000! you enjoy it. Um, as a show of appreciation for the support that everybody's been giving me, all the comments everybody's been leaving, all the love from the anime community that I've been shown, I'm hoping... To continue with what I'm doing and just to get better as I go to make the experience more enjoyable for everybody so that I can earn that sub from you and like I said at 500 subscribers I will be doing a giveaway for this figure it is unopened as you can see so if you want to win that then subscribe and just make sure that you're over 18 years of age and you live within the US because I don't know if I could afford the shipping outside. Like I said though, with that said, I, I appreciate all the support I've been given. Thank you very much. And I will see you all next time. Kid is brazen, that's for sure. No, I have big balls. I've gotta be talking about, yep. Yo. This kid is on a news station. He's talking to a reporter. What in the world? And he's even shown his face. That's a bit crazy. I think he's going a bit far now. Alright, well... I'm pretty sure our government officials that have started our new branch are going to be popping up in that area pretty quickly now. There's no way that they're not watching this news feed. I mean, he's a kid. So obviously he wouldn't want to become God. I don't even know why his angel would have picked him in the first place. Like, there should be some kind of rules for who you pick, I would think. There are. But apparently not. There's like, you can pick whoever, where. I don't even know if they can pick a baby for, because this is kind of insane. I mean, that's the general gist of it, I guess. 
I still think that that's um, kind of absurd that only candidates in Japan were chosen because the requirements for being chosen are because you know you're in a great deal of despair or distress you want to kill yourself things of that nature like you just don't want to continue living and the premise is that nobody else around the world has any real hardships to deal with but people in Japan kind of kind of absurd bit of a stretch Hey everybody, if you're enjoying the reaction so far, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that sub button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section. Hit the like and check out my unboxing of this figure here. The Amelia Bust and also a Figure Art Zero Kaido figure. Link above. So the kid had no real friends. It was kind of a social outcast. Nothing was fun anymore. So that's why he wanted to kill himself, because he was bored, lonely, didn't really have a reason to wake up, I guess. But I mean, what do you say? He was in sixth grade, so dude, you're not even that old. Like, you want to give up on life already because you're a little lonely? I mean, cheer that dude. Go out and make some friends. Be outgoing try something different and new yeah I think he's divulging a bit too much information now about their abilities and what they can do though I think that's kind of cheating using your wings and arrows to win at soccer though you don't say I agree being killed doesn't sound like fun. So that's why he stopped Metropolitan Man because he knew he was going to kill him. So he got to him first. Yeah, that's what I said. He's telling him a bit too much. Balta helping the kid shoot Metropolitan Man with the arrow seems like interfering. I thought they weren't allowed to interfere with the tournament. And him telling him who Metropolitan Man was and then helping him shoot him yeah that's interfering if nothing else so i really get the feeling that the angels are more out for themselves than their own ambitions like this is some kind of chess game they're playing or this tournament they're playing amongst themselves like maybe some one of these guys will be the next god but i feel like it might be more about the angels than whoever's the next god Okay, that kind of makes sense. So he wants them to pick which god. So does that mean he, he wants people to go out and look for whoever it is? And then cast votes, cast lots. Well, cast votes to see who, you know, like, cat, like nominating a president, but a god. Well then, Mariah has a fanboy. Alright everybody, and that was the episode, and we get kind of a bit more information on how things are really progressing. Uh, first off, we learn that the boy that shot Metropolitan Man was told about Metropolitan Man by Balta. So, that allows for some kind of leniency with being involved in the tournament, at least to some degree, because, you know, we're initially told they can't get involved at all. Well, apparently they can which makes me wonder in last episode when Kanade kept calling to his angel to help him if she could have really helped him if she wanted to and just chose not to. So the boy's name is Susumu and Susumu after shooting Kanade with the arrow gets him to write himself in his will. So Susumu now has I guess all of Kanade's wealth. And on top of that, he had him give him his weapon. So he has the arrows, the wings, as well at his disposal, including the other red arrows that I guess that he had as well. So he has quite a bit of an arsenal on his hands, but that seems to be a mute point because 
during the episode, we learn that he wants Mariah to be the next god. He goes so far as to tell everybody, look, there's six of us left. I want you to find us and choose for yourselves which one of us you want to be the next god. So we go from Kanye's kind of sense of how this tournament is ran by offing other members of the tournament until you're the last one standing to now some type of voting system that this kid wants instated. We also get um, some new government officials that are introduced in the last episode, but we know that they're really keeping an eye on what's going on. And I'm not sure how much they're going to get involved in this or how much they could even get involved in this because I highly doubt that even with like the fastest jet around that anybody with these could catch them since, you know, as long as they have the wings. One of the other really interesting parts of the episode that happened was the get together of the angels. Um, we meet quite a few of them. So one of them is Mooney, the angel of destruction. Uh, that's the really weird looking one whose face is covered. Ogaro, the angel of darkness, who is also Yuri's angel, the girl who was off on the island having a grand old time. And Yuzeli, the angel of truth. So they get together and basically say, you know, after the tournament of, uh, members are cut in half, we start having these get-togethers. Like, this is something that we always do. What they're getting together about is beyond me, though, because we really don't get any information out of this, you know. We don't find out why they're getting together, or what their plans are, etc. So maybe later on down the line, we'll kind of get a little more in-depth detail to that. So the only other thing I have of note to talk about is Susumu himself and the fact that as a child, somehow you're still able to be one of the participants in the tournament. So there doesn't seem to be like any bar for who you can choose as far as the angels are concerned. And what's really interesting about this kid is he just wants to live life. He doesn't care about becoming God. Uh, that's not his goal at all. Apparently, you know, being as young as he is, I highly doubt that any child his age shoved into this kind of situation would really care about that at all or even have any kind of concept of what is even being offered in the first place, in my opinion, unless you're like some kind of genius at that level or age. So we learned that Susumu wants Mirai to be the next god. So I feel like this kid is going to try to do his best because he doesn't know who Mirai is right now. He just knows him as Red. Because I think if he knew who he really was, he would have just revealed that information during this interview. So I feel like he's going to go about trying to figure out who exactly Mirai is. But with that said, let me know what you all thought of this episode. Let me know what you all think of this kid and how he's going about doing things. And I will see you all next time. Da da da